Azrael saw the error of his ways, and now he has scorned the angel of death is Jeff G. Bailey. Would you want to be on the other end of those cutting tools? I'll take a rain check. Thank you very much. And the Lost Boys now opening up on the end of a bow, and Azrael sending Michael Adrian hurtling over that top row. That's quite an accomplishment. This is a rematch from Hardcore Hell. 2005 when it was Luke and Adrian who got the victory over the Lost Boys. The Lost Boys coming tonight for revenge here. This situation only escalating as the weeks have progressed. Adrian kicking the holy crap. No other way of putting it out of Michael Adrian. That's Luke now opening up and his former tag team partner Gabriel. What a Michael Adrian now responding in kind with a, oh, a chop. And a big fist to the face. Really rocking the Angel of Death. Oh, Angel of Death takes a header. Oh, they're shoulder first, I should say. Right into the security rail. Alter Boy Luke introducing a table to ringside as he's brawling with Gabriel. And Gabriel sends the Alter Boy into the guardrail. The Nasty. Back, the back of Michael Adrian was 28. Nasty chair shot. In this type of matchup, the Lost Boys don't play. This is their environment. He's two schizophrenic nutcases, two of my favorite all-time wild side wrestlers. They're absolutely unpredictable in every sense of the word. Uh, Michael Agent putting on the brakes and sending uh, Michael, uh, sending the Archangel Gabriel hurtling over that top rope. Oh, and a big backdrop on the Angel of Death. The innovation there by Adrian actually turning it into a neck breaker on the way down. To show you where this guy is coming to ring under the tutelage of Jeff G. Bailey is remarkable. And Adrian, boy, taking, taking Azrael out of the equation. Of course, Alter Boy Luke, a once hero to the wild side fans, a savior, if you will. Yeah, no longer Alter Boy, I might point out. Oh, certainly not. The former tag team partner of Gabriel at that time, they were known as the God Squad. They had many a brutal war, but Alter Boy Luke turned bitter on his partner, joined the NWA Elite, and now we have this. Look at Gabriel not even allowing his former partner Luke to, to, to even attempt to pin him. What a hostility. It's, it's beyond belief between these two teams. As the one-man mafia, Michael Adrian, has the Archangel in a bad, bad way. Oh, good lord, throw first, ooh! And a spinny kick from Luke. Then he gave her the map, Michael Adrian on top. Oh, no, that was, that was quick. Adrian desperately flailing away at Gabriel, rather uncharacteristic from the one-man mafia. Then again, having that, that the imprint of that chair clearly defined on his back, I guess. He can make such as that. And a neck breaker from Luke on the Archangel. And the Gabriel is now kicking out just really on instinct. We all know Gabriel can endure an awful lot of pain. He's endured so much of it during his relatively short career. But with the hostility involved in this matchup here, I'm not quite sure how much he's going to be able to withstand. And now, particularly with the table being involved, as Michael Adrian instructing Luke to set the table up on the floor, the blood-stained floor of the NWA arena. God, we've seen some battles in this building. This is a sacred ground. Well, it's often been referred to as a wrestling church of sorts. It is. This is the church of wrestling. Yeah. Now, Gabriel being placed onto the table. And there's about to be a sacrifice made to the altar of this church of wrestling. Altar boy Luke, no! Gabriel, or Azrael rather, shooting the chair into the ring like a rocket. Boy Luke ate that chair. And Michael Adrian setting head first into the iron post. Thunderous kick on the head of Michael Adrian. Adrian can't even stand up. Adrian just collapsed. Saw that directly on the temple. It may have knocked Adrian out momentarily. Yeah. So much for your balance, Alice, as the Archangel Gabriel setting up the table and the security railing at the integrity of that table ain't the greatest in the first place.
Oh, I've drug him back in the bingo hall here. As, as Azrael, the angel of death, putting Michael Adrian on top of that table. Oh, Lord. Walter Boy, or rather Luke. Nicholas Gabriel Azrael with the Old Testament there. And a quick pin attempt from Azrael, all no goes. God, is, is Gabriel dead? Gabriel knocked clear into the second row. It's a sold out NWA arena, standing room only here. Watching these two teams, these two embittered teams go at it. No disqualification. Luke charges. Seamless Hurricane Rana, what agility by Luke. Goes to show you why Luke was so sought out by so many wrestling organizations throughout the United States for gifts such as that. But with Luke's now affiliation with the NWA elite, I'll tell you, in every respect, all bets are off. And Azrael obviously not ripe for the pinning at the moment. Now Luke's going to have to open up a little bit more on the Angel of Death. Setting up the table in the corner now. The NWA lead are building an architecture of aggression here. Azrael ducks down and blocks any effect the table would have on him. Beautiful double team by the Lost Boys. Let's do the time warp again. Goes to show you why the Lost Boys assess one of the most revered tag teams in Wildside history. Double stop. And it's the Green Manali share with a two prong crown. That would definitely be it if Azrael was in any shape to even a pin. Yep, there's a rather unorthodox pin attempt from Azrael. Jeff G. Bailey in to make sure that the no pin takes place. Azrael! On the ground, Gabriel Springboard off the table into a tornado DDT. Two count. The Archangel on top, but not enough. They are one time referee Andrew Thomas. Uh, we were convinced being on the payroll of the NWA elite. Not anymore. Well, that relationship's definitely dissolved and what? had a quite bitter falling out. Let it stay that way, please. Holy driver. Well, we're getting a medley here this evening. Remember, watch the copyrights. Keep it short. Two counts. Amazing that Gabriel kicked out of the Holy Driver. Long two lost in a midnight seat is the Archangel. Luke and on the top. Could be gone for the angelic jam. Nobody home. And Luke lands but first. Nobody at home. Luke may be about an inch or so shorter. After that, now the Angel of Death. Line up the bodies, there's the Ted Bundy. He had a lovely assortment of names for moves from the Angel of Death, Azrael, the Ted Bundy, please. Jeff G. Lou, Jeff G. Bailey can do the, uh, the, the Al Bundy, but regardless, as the Lost Boys and more particularly the Archangel Gabriel. Oh, Lord. Vicious DDT onto the ramp. May have incapacitated Azrael for the rest of the match. Obviously, it did a number on Adrian. Gabriel in the ring. Alter Boy Luke's on the table. Good Todd back splash through the table. And the Lost Boys win this big one tonight. Quite possibly the most original and unique tandem. The greatest tag team possibly in wild side history. Azrael and Gabriel, the Lost Boys, only fitting that the demonic duo close the chapter of wild side on top where they deserve to be and where they will be revered in my heart and many others for a long time to come.
the Lost Boys, a remarkable tag team. You're right, the most unorthodox tag team, perhaps, in wild side history. We've had a lot of unorthodox tag teams.